follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hi, everyone. This is Angel from Half Faith Let It Begin. Today is Monday, September 13th, 2021. Got an announcement to make for all of you this Friday, uh, September 17th. Unfortunately, I have to have surgery. Yep. It's not a kidney stone. For, I, I don't even want to say unfortunately. It's Listen, I don't, it's not a kidney stone operation. Oh, I guess we'll just get into it on this five minutes or less episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. Start the clock. Half Faith Let It Begin starts right now. Check this out. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Yeah, I can. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Have faith. Let it begin. <laughs> One day you'll say it. <laughs> Can you say half faith? Let it begin. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No. 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 No? Okay. Oh, yeah. Cue the sound effects. <laughs> oh, you know, all you can do is kind of chuckle about it. Yeah, it's true, guys. This is Half Faith Let It Begin. It's Monday. It's September 13th, uh, 2021. Start the clock. Five minutes or less episode starts now. Um, yeah, I found out on Thursday, Thursday of last week, uh, that I have to have surgery. And it's going to be on Friday, September 17th. So, asking for thoughts and prayers. Um, If many of you recall, back in 2019, um, I had to have surgery on my back. Uh, My back was, it it was a cyst uh, uh, that was growing, uh, ended up being a lipoma. Uh, It was benign, thank God. And uh, unfortunately, it's back. And it's bigger than before. The last time it was like the size of a softball. and They're saying now it's bigger. So we have to go back in and have it removed. And, uh, you know, um, what can you say? What can you do, right? Um, when it rains, it pours. So much stuff has happened and happening, I should say. But, you know, I have to find all the blessings uh, around it. Uh, I have great doctors. And a uh, good support factor. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm better now than after my son gets born, right? Uh, so that way I'm not putting everything on my family to watch over uh, two children. And it is what it is. Uh, a little concerned. I mean, listen, it's surgery. Nobody likes to go in and get cut as many times as I have been. Um, right now, my back is definitely looking more and more like a road map. So, um, but I look at it this way. I try to find the positive in everything that happens. Um, this has been caught before it got worse. And, uh, I'm confident in my doctor, Dr. Oy, who's going to perform this surgery. He's done it before and he did a great job. I know now that, um, with this surgery, I'm going to need a little bit of rest. So, um. I will do my very best uh, to produce a show um, the the following Monday. If I don't, I will do some type of a quick message uh, indicating that we will rewind an episode. Uh, maybe I'll ask Dr. E to fill in for me and do an episode for me. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, or if any of you would like to reach out to me uh, before this next upcoming Monday... Uh, excuse me, yeah, well, next on Monday because one week from today I would have already been my third day uh, post-op 
So, you know, we'll see how I feel. Uh, in the past, when I've had this surgery, I was, you know, uh, wasn't 100%, but I was 100% well enough to do the show. And um, I'm sure I'm going to have stitches and all that great stuff. But anyway, with that being said, uh, I just wanted to inform all of you that it is going to be on the 17th. That's this Friday. I will uh, be doing a live show Friday morning before I go in, assuming that the surgery is not early, early in the morning. I'll know more about that as the days ahead. Um, I would like to point out that I am uh, seeking out uh, more uh, prayer for my family, uh, my wife, and of course uh, my daughter. Oh, real quick, um, an update, I'm sorry, Ariel is much better. Uh, her fever broke, and uh, it actually broke on Thursday, um, Thursday m- mid-morning. She had not had a fever, and she's been well since. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for your thoughts and prayers. I know I'm about to go over the five-minute mark on this episode, um, so I will probably end it on that note because it's always a blessing to talk about uh, things have gotten better and how Ariel has improved. And uh, please prayers for my mom. She's still going through a lot of pain. And um, and I know that with prayer, we'll get over this. And um, That's it. So let's go into prayer and close it out. Heavenly Father, thank you for today's episode. We know it's a short one. But we do know is that you're with us. That you believe in us. And that with you and through you, Everything is possible. Lord, I know that you will be with me and my family and the doctors this Friday. But we still have to make sure that we not forget those people that are dealing with the 20-year anniversary of 9-11 and reliving the moments this past weekend. Some of them have to get back, right back on track by taking a moment to remember that horrible day. We pray for the family and friends and the heroes and the victims of this tragic, tragic event. We continue to pray for those that are dealing with the aftermath of hurricanes and fires. We ask you, Lord, to pray for the sick and those that are infected by this horrendous virus that is around the world. We ask you to watch over our military personnel, our firefighters, EMTs, first responders, police, fire and rescue, And we ask you to pray for our churches and our ministries all over the world. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And with that being said, never forget. Oh, have faith. Let it begin. I got to say something to Ariel, don't I? All right. So I guess by the time this airs, I will have changed the title to five minutes or less. (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> to something different So disregard the beginning Hey we're li- are live What can I tell you So um, To Ariel Don't worry Daddy's going to be fine um, it, This is a routine One, two, three surgery And I'll be back on your my feet In no time enough to play with you And this past weekend was an awesome time To spend with you And uh, you know this day in history before your brother was born um, we spent a lot of time together mommy was working long hours today so you and I got some daddy uh, father daddy time and uh, daughter father daddy time daddy daughter time and we got a chance to be outside and play and and then my favorite part of the day was when you woke up from your nap and I was uh, in our air mattress in the living room and you came over to me and you gave me your two teddy bears, Charlie and Lulu, and you cuddled with me. You placed your head on my belly, and we watched Toy Story 2 for the 110th time. And it just keeps getting better and better. I'll watch it 150,000 times more, because spending time with you is precious. And that's all I have to say. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. 
And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.